Hi, I'm the last one to say we're gonna be watching 420 pounds in the purse. Look at me now, brand new me. And this is by Truly. So hopefully we see what she did. If she got like weight loss surgery or or she was just eating right and um building muscle and all of that stuff. So let's see. I usually watch a lot of stuff like this, like Sex Church Man Life, Thousand Mile Sisters. Five thousand calories a day. Five thousand. My heaviest. I woke up one day and I couldn't stand. Like my back was killing me. Mm. But when I tried to stand, I fell to the floor. I didn't think that the cause of my weight that I'm having knee and back issues. <laughs> I have to do something about it. Went uh, to my doctor. Okay, and easy. Some advice on gastric surgery. My heaviest weight was four hundred and twenty pounds. And I have lost 205 pounds. Period. <laughs> My weight over the years definitely fluctuated. I was always a chubby girl growing up in school. On one day, I can account that I was eating about four to 5,000 calories a day. I did have health issues in my heaviest. The year I was able to get it was 2020. I woke up one day and I couldn't stand. Like, it, I could not stand. Like, my back was killing me. But when I tried to stand, I fell to the floor. I went to the emergency room. I didn't know what was wrong with me. Uh, literally crying tears because it was hurting to just barely get on my knees. After doing a whole bunch of tests, he was like, if you don't change, something's going to basically get cut off. I didn't think that the cause of my weight that I'm having knee and back issues. And see, this is why I don't really like, like, the, um, body, I wouldn't say really like body positivity. It's just the obese side of it. When you ask big like this, she said she cannot walk and she fell to the floor. You think that's he healthy and you happy about being that you can't walk by yourself and you have to have a walker and you have to, Simba, can you move? You have to do all of this extra stuff just to get by in the morning. That's a normal person don't need to do all that. And I'm not saying get like skinny, skinny, skinny. Like we can see your bones skinny, like model skinny. We don't need that. Just be healthy and just eat right. That's all I'm saying. If you if you have a problem walking, I feel like that's that's a sign. That's a sign that you need to do something about it. Like. And you can't blame nobody but yourself because you are the one that's eating that 4,000 calories a day. Are you serious? But, um, anyway, yeah, what was I going to say? I don't know. Maybe it might come back to me. My lowest moment is when it was seven months before I decided to have weight loss surgery. I was in the bathroom. I couldn't wipe myself. Like, I couldn't. I kept doing this. You know, all my weight was, like, in my back. So when I turned around, I couldn't wipe myself. So I was able to wipe it just a little bit, and I had to get in the shower because I couldn't do it. And I was like, how did I let myself get that big? When you was little coming up, because, you know, we was not limited to, to eating or going in the icebox or nothing, and I every time I, I watch these 600 pound life people, they be always, it's always somebody that have to wash them for them. Like, imagine having to ask somebody, oh, can you wash my ass because I'm too fat and I can't do it. Like, that, that sounds so embarrassing. Thank you. To be honest with you, she never let me stop her being unhappy on her heaviest. She never showed me her confidence. <sighs> Skydiving. That was something I always wanted to do. Uh, when I went there, he was like, there's a weight limit. I said, what's the weight limit? That day, I stepped on the scale, and it said, E. I said, what, what is that? And he was like, basically, that's where you're past the weight limit on the scale. I said, what's the weight limit on the scale? He said, 400. And in front of all these people, I was like, okay. So I went home, bought a scale. I stepped on it, said 420. That was the highest I've ever been in my life. And then that same month, me being the distraught that I am, we went to Vegas. My friends wanted to zip mine. Yet again, they said, oh, you can't. They didn't even put me on a scale. They just looked at me. Oh, you can't ride too big. I was like, like, <laughs> and it hurt, you know? I'm sorry. 
Oh, I know what I was about to say. You don't really see a lot of fat old people, do you? Yeah, because they usually die before that because your heart will will stop when they when you real fat. Yeah. I'm sorry to say it, but My it's friends, the truth. They try their best to keep me lifted. Um, she real tall nice too. Things be like, you still that girl? Don't worry about it. You still this? You still that? Yes, you're telling me that, but I don't feel that way. You know. <laughs> so that's when I said I have to do something about it. So I was like, if I can't do it on my own, I need help. Went um to my doctor and they gave me some um advice on gastric surgery. And then June of 2021, so I decided to have the procedure. I had the procedure. I got back. I instantly started walking. Because I had incisions and stuff on my stomach, I couldn't do lifting, but I started walking. And then I had to start strength training. Once I started strength training, got me a personal trainer and the weight started back coming off. I was stalling for like about seven or eight months, changed my diet up again, started working out, and then started back to fall off. My heaviest weight was 420 pounds, and I have lost 205 pounds. What me to this type of workout is basically I don't like traditional cardio. I don't like treadmill. I don't like stair steppers. I don't like none of that elliptical. I like to build my endurance by jumping rope outside, outdoors. Exercise makes me feel rejuvenated. I just block everything else out and I just go hard or go home. How do you feel? So great. I'm ready to dressed and turn up <laughs> having loose skin made me feel like i didn't accomplish anything the reason that i say that is because i still to me in my eyes i still looked at the same i felt like i couldn't see what i worked hard for i felt like that i needed to have that in order to like the finished product of what i worked for i had loose skin surgery about two months ago tell us about your new body and why you're so proud of how you look I mean, do you see me? I'm just saying. <laughs> My comfort level, I am the president of America. <laughs> you can't nobody tell me that, that honestly, because some people don't even believe that that was me. Hey. <laughs> I'm Dre, the best thief to be a drunk tonight. <laughs> Why are you drinking water? This ain't water. No water. This is she has been someone who has been just up and open about life and her confidence back then and her confidence now, I feel like it's the same because she's going to do what she needs to do. Like, she's, she's Dominique, you know, she's Dee Dee. Yeah. I love her glow up because it's gotten her further out of her shell. I feel her, her friend. Day, she feels like she can take on the world and I'm here for it. Like, that's what I love to see. The energy she has every day is just outstanding. Like, the person she is. That just is ugly, she but if you feel good at it, not just for her, yeah. for her child as well. So I'm very proud of her. She she's going. This toast is to a fun night tonight. We're celebrating not only Dominique's birthday, but we're also celebrating her process, her journey. May she forever be that. <laughs> what the future holds for me is continuing my business that's called the Your Bariatric Bestie, basically explaining to people my journey, helping you, answering your questions, knowing that you're not alone, that you don't have to go through it alone like I did. I'm here to help you. Do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else. Because if you do it for other people, you're not going to be happy. A lot of people kept telling me that. It was like, you're not mentally ready. You're not emotionally ready. You're not physically ready because you're not ready to change your lifestyle. So you don't know what I'm ready to do. Period. Okay, and that's it for um, Dominique. That's 420 pounds and oppressed. Look at me now, brand new me. And this is by Truly. The original video will be in the description box below. Please comment what you want me to write to next. Goodbye. Mwah.